let's puff it up. Hey, hey, let's puff it up. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm always dancing. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber and a part of the Gifted family, the Gifted gang gang, <laughs> welcome back fam, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about the Wallet Cut Metallic Puff HTV from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And y'all, when I tell you this product is amazing, it is so good, the demand is so high that it's sold out everywhere. So if you are looking for this product, may not be able to find it at this current time, but keep an eye out on the websites that sell the metallic puff and once it restocks, grab with the quickness because that's what I'm going to be doing. Heat Transfer Warehouse was so kind enough to send me just a few samples to test out. And today, that is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you three different ways you can use the metallic puff vinyl to create different garments and this is going to be for graduation season so like you know grad edition if you will and these are so so cute now the techniques that i'm going to show you of course doesn't have to be solely for graduation season you can leverage the techniques and create your own designs for any kind of occasion for your business or if you want to get a friend or a family member it will be perfectly fine um, but I also did this one as well, and I just think that these came out really, really, really cute, really different, really amazing. And you can do so much with the metallic puff. And so that's what this video is going to be about today. Now, I also want to say thank you to Heat Transfer Warehouse for sending me some samples. And also, big thank you to my friends over at Bella Candace because they did send me a box of goodies full of BC merch. And I am going to be using that today in this video. Once you use Bella Canvas garments, you are not going to want to use any other garments. It's so soft on your skin. It's not irritable. It's top tier, okay? So if this is something that you are interested in learning how to make, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you find my content of value. Of course you do, right? And then don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, Let's go. All right, y'all. So let's get into the supplies and the materials that I'm going to be using to make our three garments today. Here I have my Walla Cup Metallic Puff in the colors gold, red, and silver. I'm also going to be using Caesar Metal HTV in the color gold. And I also have Caesar Glitter HTV in the color black. For garments, I'm going to be using Bella Canvas, you already know, and this is their heirloom jersey. I absolutely love Bella Canvas garments. They are so soft, they're not rough, they're not too harsh on the skin. I highly recommend you giving them a try. I promise you, you will love them. And then here I have a fleece from their fleece collection, and this is in the color white. Super soft, it, it's just amazing. Their, their garments are top tier. Hands down. I'm going to be using my Quick Adventure today. So I do have my 24 inch by 28 inch standard grip mat here. And my Quick Adventure is right next to me. I'm going to be using my 16 by 20 saw Titronics auto open heat press. And literally y'all, that is it. Of, all, of course you're gonna need your lint uh, roller to um, remove the lint from your garments. But other than that y'all, that's it. So let's head on over to desktop mode and let's get designing. I'm gonna start off here in Cricut Design Space with a brand new blank canvas. And the very first thing I'm going to do is add my text. So I'm going to select text and I'm going to type out the word senior. I'm just going to bring this to the middle and then just enlarge it slightly. I'm going to change this font and the font that I'm going to use is called Varsity Team. It is a font that I have downloaded from thefont.com quite some time ago, but it is a nice chunky college font that I, I like to use for graduation themed t-shirts and projects. So here is Senior. I'm going to head back over to text 
and I'm going to type out another text. And this is going to say 20, 24. And I'm going to change this font to a more dainty, scripty font. The font that I'm going to use was also downloaded from thefont.com quite some time ago, and it's called England Script. All right, and I actually want to capitalize the T here. So I'm just going to delete the lowercase and add the cap uppercase T here. There we go. That looks good. So now I'm just going to unlock the size aspect ratio for 2024. And I'm just going to play around with the size that I want this to be. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit and just make some adjustments here. That looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just change the color of senior just for visual purposes as well. I'm going to change this to red because I am going to be using red, the Walla Cup Metallic Puff HTV in the color red. So it makes sense to just color this red. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these elements and then I'm going to select align and then center, okay? Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to select 2024 and I'm going to select offset. So now I'm going to add an offset. You can make your offset as large or as small as you want. I'm going to leave mine at 0 0.069 and then I'm going to click on apply. Now, while I still have the offset selected, I'm going to add another offset. So I'm going to offset the offset. <laughs> This offset is going to be smaller, and I want this to be about 0 0.049. Again, you can make your offset as large or as small as you want. You just want to make sure that the offset's offset is smaller than the actual offset, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead, make this 49, and then click on Apply. Now from here, I'm going to take the first layer, so the 2024, drag it down. I'm going to take the offset, drag it down. Now the offset offset, I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm just going to bring this down right here. Now I'm going to select senior and the offset, and I'm going to uh, select slice. So now I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of those pieces that we no longer need. And this is what we left with. And it looked crazy. I know it looks crazy, right? <laughs> but it's gonna make sense in just a few moments. So now I'm going to scroll down real quick so we could just pay attention to these parts right here. Now I'm going to select this first offset and I'm going to click on arrange and then bring to front so that when we bring it in front of its offset, it's in front of its offset, okay? I'm going to select both of these, align, center, and while I still have both of these selected, I'm going to click on slice. Now I'm going to remove all of the elements that we don't need, and we should be left with just the outline of the offset. I'm going to change this color to gold because we are going to be using metal HTV from Caesar and the color gold. So now I'm just going to just bring this and place this right in its perspective place like so. I'm also going to change the 2024 to red because that's also going to be the Walla Cut metallic puff. And I'm just going to place this right in the middle, just like so. And design number one is basically completed. I'm just going to select everything and then just resize it. I want the width to be 10.2 and the height to be about 2.75. And here is our beautiful design. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to select this and I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to bring the duplicate down because we're gonna work on that in just a moment for design number two. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the gold outline of the offset and I'm just going to hide it temporarily because what I'm going to do is select these two elements and I'm going to attach them. 
Now, in my mind, I have an idea of how to press the puff vinyl with the uh, metal HTV. And hopefully it works out. But essentially, I want these two to, to be cut at the same time and pressed at the same time because we're going to be using the same material. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and find my gold outline that I hid. It should be right here. And I'm going to just put this back into place. Let me unhide it first. <laughs> and here it is. Let me see. I'm just going to just click on this and then bring this to the front. And then put this back into place, just like so. Select everything again, group, and then hide. So design number one is completed. Now on to design number two. Design number two is going to be fairly the same as design number one. The only difference is we are going to take out the gold layer here. So I'm going to select it and delete that. And I'm going to change 2024, the color of it to gold. So instead of having the outline and then this being the puff with the red puff, metallic puff, I'm going to just make this the gold metal HTV. So senior is going to be the red metallic puff vinyl, and then 2024 is going to be the gold metal vinyl, okay? And now design number two is done. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that group and then hide that. So now we're going to go on to design number three. I'm going to head back over here to text and I'm going to type out senior again. Bring this to the middle and enlarge it. I'm going to change the font again back to Varsity Team. All right. So now I'm going to select Senior and I'm going to add an offset to Senior. Now I want this offset to be a little bit on the larger side because I want this to be one solid piece. So I don't want to have an offset for each individual letter, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. 0.153 is pretty good for my liking. So then I'm going to go ahead. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. And then there we have it. So I'm just going to move the offset downwards. And then right here on the right hand side where it says contour on the bottom right, I'm going to select contour. And then I'm going to click hide all contour because I do not want to cut out these little individual pieces, these elements here. Okay. So now when I click out, I just have this one solid piece and my Cricut is just going to cut around the edges instead of these little individual pieces that were there, right? So now I'm just going to put this back into place, select both, align, center. And again, while I still have both, uh, both of these elements selected, I'm going to select slice. Now, I didn't mention this with the first two designs, but in Cricut Design Space, you are only able to slice two elements at a time or two layers at a time. So now that this is all sliced out, what I'm going to do is remove this middle layer here, delete that. And so now we are left with this outline here. Okay. Now I'm just going to just hide this for a moment so that we can just focus on this. From here, I'm going to add in a shape. I'm going to grab a shape and I'm going to select a square. I'm going to make this square a rectangle. So drag it out like so. And then I'm just going to align this into the middle because now I'm going to be splitting this text into two. So this is called a split design. Now, if you have trouble finding your, your center point, you can just simply arrange your rectangle and send it to back. And then you can just use your eyes to just find your center point. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. I am going to select both and then I am going to, I'm actually going to select the rectangle and move it back to the front, select both elements and then slice. I'm going to remove those pieces that we do not need. And so now we are left with 
these two slices here. And I'm just going to color them. So for these, I'm going to be using the Walla Cup Puff metallic and gold and in silver. So I'm just going to change this to gold. And then this one, I'm going to just make it into like a light silver puff. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring back our offset, which is right here. Now our offset, oh, that ice scared me. It was snowing the other day and now the ice is falling and it's making all this noise outside. I'm over here jumping. <laughs> So excuse me if you heard that the ice is falling. So the black offset is going to be glitter HTV. And then again, we have the puff, metallic puff in gold, and then the metallic puff in silver. Okay, that's going to be so cute. I could just envision it right now. And I hope it works out because I think this is a really cute design and something different that we can use with the metallic puff HTVs. But I'm just going to add a little bit more extra text at the bottom just to like finish off the entire look. So I'm going to add another text and I'm just going to type out class of 2024 and I'm going to change this font and the font that I'm going to use is called hello something. I remember hello. Here we go. Hello Ameta and I downloaded this from thefont.com as well. And I'm just going to just place this like right here. And I don't want class of 2024 to be too large. Um, so like this looks pretty good. And this is also going to be cut out with the black glitter HTV as well. So something like this. I think that looks pretty good and it finished everything. And so this design is completely done. What I'm going to do is I am going to resize this to make sure that my sizes are correct and it is not so i'm going to resize this to about 10.2 and let's make this 10.2.5 uh, that looks pretty good as well i'm just going to just zoom in a little bit just to make sure that everything looks good all right y'all so this is design number three so I'm just going to select this and I'm going to click on group. And now I'm going to bring in all of the other designs in real quick. And now it is time to make. So I am going to be using my Cricut Venture because I can cut all of these out in one go, except for the glitter HTV, which is okay. But everything else is going to be cut out at the same time because I'm going to be using the same settings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select make. And also the Cricut Venture cuts so fast it you, literally you blink your eye and your cut is done <laughs> okay so now as you can see it's going to show four different mats because of the colors and i'm just going to just put everything onto one mat so i have my mat all ready to go and i'm going to be cutting out three different kinds of htvs on one mat and one one setting and um, I put everything pretty much together. So this is going to be the red HTV, the um, gold, the silver, so the gold metallic here, the silver metallic. And then this is going to be the, the gold metal HTV here, okay? So I have everything nice and organized. And you just also want to just pay attention to where you place them so you can know where to align your HTVs. And then here, did I miss something here? No, I didn't, okay. And then here on the black mat is where our black glitter HTV will be cut, okay? So now I'm just going to go ahead and select continue. And again, I'm using a quick adventure because it's super fast and I can cut everything out at one time really fast. And for the metallic puff, the um, metal gold HTV, I am going to be using the iron on setting and I'm just going to make sure that my pressure is set to more, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and load the mat really quickly and then show you how fast this cuts. When laying down the puff vinyl, you wanna make sure that the carrier sheet is facing upward and with the metal, you wanna make sure that the shiny gold side is facing down on the mat. All right, y'all, so here's my mat. I went ahead and added the black glitter 
piece here on the bottom right hand side because once I finish cutting everything out, I'm just going to just flip it over and then cut the glitter. So now I'm just going to go ahead and load this in to my machine. And then you're gonna hear the vacuum system, okay? I'm going to pull the lever down and then I'm going to click on the blinking load button right here. And then remember, I am using the iron on setting, okay? More pressure with the performance fine blade. Performance fine point blade. <laughs> And this is going to be in real time. So now I'm going to click the go button. And now the Cricut is going to go ahead and cut this out. I went ahead and sped up this part, but I just wanted to show you in real time how fast the venture cuts. All right, y'all. So now our first cuts are done. And I'm just going to go ahead and unload the mat and then remove all of our pieces real quick. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the glitter. Remember the piece was already here. On my mat, I just flipped the mat over and now we're going to go ahead and cut this out. And then glitter, HTV, more pressure will be the setting. When it's finished cutting, I'll come back and then we'll go ahead and start pressing our garments. All right, y'all. So here are all of our pieces cut out and ready to go. This is the red Walla Cut Metallic puff and look at that it's so pretty so i'm just going to see how well it weeds and also how good the quick adventure cut cut this material so i'm gonna do it this way real quick just to get a starting point and i gotta be careful because i do have small text here but y'all this is weeding beautifully uh-oh see I have to be careful, just put that back down because I do have the small text here. Gorgeous. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Just take my beautiful weeding tool that I got made by Simply Lou Designs. Thank you so much for my beautiful weeding tool. And I'm just gonna go in and remove all the little small pieces that I don't need. Come on now while I cut metallic puff. This is what I'm talking about right here. It is so easy to weed. Amazing. Look at that. All right, y'all. So here I am at my heat press. I have my heat press set to 275 degrees Fahrenheit because we are going to be pressing the Walla Cup Metallic Puff first. And that is the temperature that was provided uh, to press this material okay i already went ahead and found my center crease here on my garment and now i'm just going to take my roll brush and just my lint roll brush and then just you know give this a little cleanse here all right and now i'm going to start with the first design okay so remember the first design here that we have with the um senior and then the 2024 both going to be pressed with the walla cut metallic puff i'm gonna just fold that in half real quick get the center point and then just align this up right here on my garment three to four fingers down turn it over just to make sure i have it aligned straight okay oop and i see that i had missed a piece here so let me just take that away look at that Make sure you remove all of the pieces. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and align this. So now we're going to go ahead and press this at 275 for 10 seconds, medium to firm pressure. So let's go. All right, so now that was the first press. With the metallic puff by um, Wallaca Metallic Puff, 
you do have to press it twice so now it is a warm pill i'm going to go ahead and remove the carrier sheet off first just give it a little rub rub it up dub there it is very hot and now i'm just going to peel away so the puff does not take place in this stage okay it's just basically almost like you want to think of it as as tacking it down before you actually go in and give it its puffage okay so now i have my metal htv by caesar okay and i'm just going to align this up on my shirt and as you can see i trimmed it down all the way around the edges because i don't want i didn't want the carrier sheet outline to be shown on my actual puff like with that line from the carrier sheet so i trimmed it down as close to the edges as i could and now i'm just going to align it up right in this perspective spot and so in my mind i figured that if i press the puff first i can press the puff first then press the metal and then with that second press with the metal that's when we will see the puffage of the puff that's how i'm thinking this will work in my mind i'm not sure if it's going to work but we're going to give it a try so i got this aligned here and now i'm just going to go ahead and press it again for another 10 seconds at 275 degrees fahrenheit now the metal is a cold pill so we will have to wait until this cools before we can move the carrier sheet all right all right let's do this to show you how it looks or should we wait until we do all of the shirts let's wait until we do all the shirts and then i will show you all of the finished garments at the end of the video let go now i'm taking design number two and i'm doing the same thing same time same temperature and pressure and y'all you won't believe what happened this one did not do well at all y'all it bubbled up oh no i'm not sure what happened with this one okay so i'm gonna let this gold metallic cool and then i am going to try to remove these bubbles i really don't know what happened with this one i didn't change anything no times the pressure the temperature nothing changed i don't know why it came out like that but Let's see if we can fix it. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and moved the carrier sheet from the gold. I don't know what happened. Um, let's see, I'm going to see if we can fix this. I still have it at 275. You know what? Let me just use my temperature gun real quick to see. Down here is too. All right, so it's too hot. Wherever I put where I had this placed at, it was too hot. Down here is where it's like 275-ish. Alright, so ugh. let's see. It kind of okay. It kind of look at that. Ah! Okay. So when I had it right here in the middle of my heat press, it was too hot because my heat press is different temperatures. So like in the front, it's super hot. It's 300 degrees right here in the front and the middle is like 300 degrees. So 296, 297, like right here. But all the way back here is the temperature that we need around 275 ish. So you want to make sure you pay attention to that as well, okay? I'm going to go ahead. I see a little bit of wrinkles right there. I'm going to see if I can get that out. And I'm going to press it again for another 10 seconds. All right? Let's see. All right, fingers crossed. 
All right, it's the best it's going to get, and I'm not mad at it, okay? It looked better than what we just had. Love it. All right, y'all, so now this is the garment design number three. We're going to be using the glitter um, HTV, and then we are going to try to use both puff vinyls at the same time. So this is going to be an experiment. So I already got my white fleece here. I got my center point. Now I'm going to just do my thing that I always do, you know, HTV, glitter HTV um, usually needs higher, a higher temp. So um, like around 315 to 350, I believe, but I'm going to keep my temperature at 275 and then just press it for a little bit longer press time. Actually, 10 seconds typically works for me. So let's see, 275, 10 seconds. Now, because this is a fleece, I have to adjust my pressure. The pressure is too firm right now. All right. And let's see. Okay, yep. So that tacked down. Now this is the part that's going to make me nervous. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and align my first layer which is going to be the gold that's the top part of the word senior i'm not going to press both of the puff vinyls at the same time i'm nervous i'm too scared to so i'm gonna just do it this way all right so now i'm gonna line up the silver and hopefully this works out y'all i had a vision in my mind I'm actually going to go ahead and just trim it off right at the edge so I won't have the carrier sheet line on my gold. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my trimmer real quick cause I can be the world's worst cutter when it comes to scissors. The gold is nice. So what I ended up doing was I ended up cutting out each individual letter um because it was easier to do it that way all right let's see go ahead and press this again all right y'all let's see beautiful oh my goodness oh my goodness it worked y'all it worked it worked it worked ah! and that puff is puffing like look at that wow all right so i'm gonna go ahead and add 2024 here metallic puff Fire. Fire. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Y'all, I had to bring the camera closer so that y'all can see that. Do y'all see this? It actually worked. <gasps> I am so impressed. Like, look at that. Oh my goodness. Fire! Fam, talk to me. Talk to me. Did we kill this or not? Nah? Because I think we did our big ones with these designs using the heat transfer warehouse wallet cup metallic puff HTV. This right here is fire. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Do you like design number one, two, or three? I personally like design number three the most but all of them are super cute and super different and super unique i don't really see nobody out here doing this with the puff okay so get the gang get the gang gang you already know we trendsetters out here <laughs> let me stop let me stop but in all seriousness this product is so amazing um so not only did i show you how to use the metallic puff in three different ways 
I also showed you my mistakes and how you can fix it. So that is also, that is also what? That's a plus. Okay, because we make mistakes out here and it's so important to show the mistakes as well. And also, I am going to be donating these shirts to some very special seniors who are graduating. So if you know anyone who would like a shirt from me, Javaya, from Gifting Hands by Javaya, please contact me. I will leave my email down below and I would love to give these away to some special grads. They are all in a size medium, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Up. don't forget to get your metallic puff okay when it becomes available make sure you grab it all right because this right here is a game changer and I'm so happy that we have such an amazing product line available to us okay so that is it for today family thank you so much for joining me and until next time later